Okay, today I'm going to show you how to do some uh, green screen stuff with iMovie. Uh, do some pretty basic green screen stuff with uh, iMovie fairly easily. So I'm going to start by pulling up iMovie. I've already um, have pulled uh, some footage together that I'm going to use for the green screen. Um, as you can see, I have uh, a real ghetto green screen, but it, it seems to work okay. Before you start, you need to go into your um, iMovie settings, your preferences, and make sure that on the general tab, your show advanced tools is uh, marked. Without that, you won't be able to do anything uh, with the green screens. So we're going to start by creating a new project. And we're just going to call it uh, Bridge. Okay, we're going to start by uh, finding some stock footage, a good background image. Uh, I've already picked one out. That's going to be this one here. Put it in there. Now, the next thing we need to do is change the duration of this. Uh, uh, it's four seconds. We need to go for at least, uh, I'm going to say, five minutes. We can always um, uh, cut it down later as we need to. Okay, then the green screen footage I've already shot. got this uh, shot of a, a, a bridge from uh, an action play set. So we're going to put this in here. And we're going to say green screen. And as you can see that comes up like this. The original footage looks like this here. And then as you can see, this is what it comes out with, and these are the two images composited together. Let's just let it play and see what it looks like. It's kind of dead, so what we need to do, we're going to go in here to our cropping, etc. We're going to use a Ken Burns. I'm going to pull this one back this way, and we're going to pull This one back. I'll need to shrink it down. Pull it over this way. Let's see what that looks like. That'll give it a little bit of movement in the background, as you can see. It's not a whole lot, but uh, I think it'll work fine. Now we're going to drop in. I'm going to tell it we're done with this. Actually, we could probably shrink this down a little bit and get a little bit more movement out of it. If we shorten our actual clip length here, it'll speed it up a little bit. But it looks like uh, we've got five minutes of footage here and here, so we're just going to leave it alone for now. But as you can see, here's the movement when you uh, scrub across the video. So it is moving. So let's see what it looks like. The next thing we're going to have to do is we're going to have to actually compile this, uh, render it into a movie, because we can't stack another event on it. This is actually going to be three layers. So let's go ahead and uh, export movie. I'm just using the medium settings. I'm going to export it. I'm just going to throw it in my download folder. Okay, now the movie's rendered down. I just have uh, iMovie set to throw it in my downloads folder. 
so it's easy for me to find. Let's see, that would be this here. We just drag that back into our background plate event. And wait for it to cook for a few seconds. And there it is. Okay, so now we go down here and we delete this. Tell it, yes, we want to undo it. It's a finalized project. Delete entire clip. Now this here is the clip we're left with. Put this in here. Now the next thing we do is we pull the audio, or not the audio, but we pull the, the clip. Alright. We take this and we do the same thing. Kind of scrub it down to where we want it. I'll make sure that the navigation console's there. Again, hit the green screen. Okay, so now, let's take a look at the whole thing. Uh, we got a little bit of aliasing up in here. So we're going to see if we can fix that or at least uh, uh, clean it up a little bit. The way we can do that is we click on this is the clip we're working on and we just kind of mess butts with the settings here. Maybe take a little green out, add a little red, or maybe not. You want to be mindful of what it's doing to the background. Just kind of play with it until you get it to where it looks right. My green screen is really, really bad, and I'll show you what I actually used for a green screen. It cost me all of $2 and some tape. But, you get what you pay for. And because of that, a lot of this is kind of coming out. But, coming out with a little bit of aliasing, but uh, it'll do for this tutorial. So, here's the whole thing. Ah, we're still, we're even worse. Let's just go back in here. Again, let's uh, go back to video. green out of it, a little bit more red, a little more blue, uh, put the contrast a little bit, let's brighten it up, or not, let's see what it looks like now. This video actually has three better. So now we need to trim it down a little bit. That'll be our next part. So we'll go here. We'll split the clip. Delete what we don't want, which is this. Go in here, kind of scrub over, tell it to trim the playhead. Now let's take a look. Right from the beginning. Well, we still got a little bit to go here. That's the problem with this, it doesn't show me.
There we go. Look at that. Cool. There we go. So now we need to look at the end. Make sure it's not too munched up. The, the green screen. See what happens. So I'm going to remove this. There we go. So there's the first one. Now we render this down so we have that clip finished. In case you're wondering how I did that shot, this is my... Uh, little ghetto green screen. And I get a light over here. It's not the best, but it got the job done. Of course, uh, now that's a tripod. It's what I used for the camera shot. And this is what I actually used for um, the foreground or the bridge part in the second layer. Just took the camera down like this, and I had a piece of that paper behind it that I used as a green screen.